Hello everybody! Welcome to yet another episode of Why Am I Playing This? I am his holy warrior. And as you can see this time we're playing SimCity. This video is being done at the request of Phoenix Jape from the Phoenix Jape YouTube channel. Uh, he commented on our Facebook page about how he would like to see an episode of Why Am I Playing This with SimCity because uh, he knows uh, how much I gripe and complain when I play it, and you will get to hear that most likely this time. So I'm going to hit load on the city. Connery Town, yes, that is a reference to Sean Connery. And uh, Phoenix Jape knows why. We have a region together on this. And I don't remember what he said, but he said something, and it, for some reason, I think he said it, and it sounded like Sean Connery's voice. So, yeah, I decided I was going to create a town dedicated to Sean Connery. Alright, here is Connery Town. Look at this, hustling, bustling little community. And they all complain about police coverage. And I don't know why. I, I do not do not know why. Look, I have a police station right in the middle of the town. I mean, granted the jail cells are full and criminals are being released. But, you know, it's not the bad ones. It's just the ones that, you know, break into people's houses. We, we keep the bad ones, the murderers and stuff inside. You know, so, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Well, I guess I should probably go ahead and add a cell or two. Um, for those of you that have not seen gameplay of SimCity, well, well, actually, if you're watching this and are interested in it, then obviously you've already seen gameplay, so that's kind of stupid. Um, yeah, I'll put that right there. Alright. So, yeah, so you can add on to... Uh, you know, the permanent buildings that you put down, like police stations, fire stations, um, even City Hall, wherever that's at. Yeah, see, here's City Hall. Zoom in on it. Yeah, see, right there, got my Department of Transportation wing, which allows me... What, what did it allow me to do? Oh, wait. What does... I can't remember, honestly. Um, oh yeah, it allowed you to build a passenger train station, uh, bus terminal, municipal airport, and ferry dock. So. <clears throat> um, I, I don't, I don't get the point of having a helipad next to your, next to your city hall. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, yeah. So, this is Conneryville, and... I created it as, well, this is actually my third city, yeah, third city, um, wow, there's a lot more trees now than there used to be, I recently just set the uh, graphic settings up on this even higher, I wasn't sure my computer could handle it, because, I mean, I got a somewhat decent computer, but, you know, the video card, or the graphics card in it isn't the best. But anyway, alright, let's see. As you can see right here, that's pollution from the old sewage pumps I used to have there. And so there's under underground pollution. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is my third attempt at a city. Yeah, shut up. You're not getting... No. No. I'm not wasting money on you. This is my third attempt at a city. I will pan down here. Okay, let's see. Where am I? Okay. That right there is Boomville. Yeah, Boomville. That is Phoenix Japes' third city. Um, let's see, over here, I believe, and he can correct me on this in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe that one back there is Phoenix Run, 
that was his original city, which, um, if I remember correct, is the one that's constantly on fire. It's basically a bunch of towering infernos. You can't see it there, but yeah. And then back over there, right here, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that, this town you see over in the background right there, that is Lugnut. That is also Phoenix Jeep City. That was his second attempt at a city. And yeah, it honestly ended up failing miserably too. Alright, right there is my first attempt at a city. As you can see, it's huge. And that's because it is the biggest city in the region. I That is Sniperville. And yes, anybody who knows who knows me or who has uh, watched the channel knows that Battlefield 3 or the Battlefield series is possibly my favorite video game series of all time, at least in the way of shooters. And so, yeah, I went crazy and called it Sniperville. Um, and that town, well, here, let me go load Sniperville for you. you you've seen Connery uh, Town. It's a nice, clean little town. I'm... You know, making uh, almost 5,000 uh, simoleons an hour. And I'm up to 410,000 simoleons total. Uh, it's a mining town. Sniperville, on the other hand. Uh, I, I'm afraid to go back into this one because it honestly... I'm, I'm literally afraid of my own city. Because it has grown so huge and... Uh, for a while, I was doing okay on money, but I quickly uh, got in over my head, and now, I mean, I think I have, I think, no, I have the fire stations back up again. For a while, I had uh, the fire stations and everything completely um, shut off, and you'll forgive me if it's a little slow, but using fraps at the same time as having this on its higher settings is obviously... Mm -hmm. Uh, making my system chug just a little bit. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm uh, 1,700 simoleons an hour under, so I'm actually losing money. 273,000 simoleons. Um, this city, like I said, this is my big one. Uh, there's still some of it that's undeveloped. Uh, this one, uh, I did not look like this originally. I actually bulldozed the original uh, Sniperville because it was in such terrible shape. It was like Phoenix Run. It was constantly on fire. And there was so much crime as actually creeping into other cities and everything. So I ended up having to bulldoze it and I restarted with this one. And everything was okay because I got the Expo Center and everything. Wait, is that... Oh, I have a go up to cheetah speed here. Well, the, I think it's cheetah speed. Well, the, the well as they've been updating the servers, they kind of shut down. Oh, hey, I'm starting to get some get it out of the hole just a bit. Um, but yeah, they they had cheetah speed disabled for a while. But yeah, I got I got the expo center and. I was putting on events and getting tons of money from it and was happy and then suddenly everything just went Pfft. I started uh, it, it I, <laughs> I, I was starting to just I mean I was still making a profit but not a lot and then don't even get me started on the pro stadium as you can see it's closed uh, it was costing me money every uh, hour or whatever uh, <laughs> just to keep it going wow i'm actually starting to get out of the hole just a little bit that's pretty cool um but anyways i actually tried to put on a sporting event here and i actually ended up losing almost a hundred thousand simoleons on it because it i forgot how much it costs well i can't tell from here i i, I can't remember how much it costs to put on the cheapest event but it was like, I think, 130,000 simoleons, and I ended up losing a bunch off of it. And I seem to have trash issues. Uh, no. So, yeah. And I have the University of the Region. And, yeah, as you can see, it's closed because I couldn't afford to run it either. 
Um, the community college is open. The grade school is open. Of course, the city hall is open. I got <laughs> a huge water pumping station. But anyways, and I also built on uh, the airport and the ferry terminal, which allows cruise ships uh, to dock and everything. Uh, I got tons of tourists coming in. Um, I also uh, drill for oil, which, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I still export that stuff. So see, I'm actually sort of... Wow, I suddenly dropped down again. Um, I actually sort of kind of breaking even because whenever I sell the oil or the coal, I end up uh, gaining money back. So, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's Sniperville. Uh, you know what? You don't even want to see these. I know you don't want to see these. But yeah, see, we we picked the uh, one of the large regions there where you can put 16 cities in there. Uh, they're grouped in fours, uh, which is pretty cool. Now we'll go back to Connery Town. Okay, now on to my many gripes about this game. Um, where to start? Well, first off, everybody, and I mean everybody who's a gamer, uh, you know, whether they're a PC gamer or not, knows that EA screwed up on the launch of this game like they've done so many others, you know, whether it be Diablo 3, Battlefield 3, um, see, what else did they, have they messed up? I mean, they messed up on everything. I mean, even their sports games they screwed up on. Um... But it, uh, yeah, they screwed up on it. The servers were constant. There wasn't enough of them. They were overloaded. So you either would take forever in the queue to get in, or you just couldn't get in at all, or the servers were down. So they went and added more servers. Guess what? Still issues. And uh, Phoenix Jape and I also ran into uh, some unique issues of our own when we went to, oh, see uh when we went to go uh and start playing ourselves and decide we were going to start a region we i tried to invite send him an invite into my region and it would not do it uh it kept saying unable to send invite at this time blah 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 ea or a bunch of jerks um so yeah that was not fun as you can imagine I'm sorry if I'm start making absolutely no sense while I'm messing with this but uh, Phoenix Jape himself can tell you I whoa not what I wanted to do uh, I easily get distracted when I play a video game I forget what I'm saying so but yeah, so the the whole server issues, yeah, that that's a big deal and all that. But still, it's kind of what you know, whatever. Not not. It's mostly fixed now at this point in time. This is uh, basically a week after the game launched, and yeah, like I said, it's pretty much over with at this point. Uh, they've got most of the servers up and running. I mean, I'm sure there's still a few issues. I personally haven't run into them. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's all done and over with. Now, EA has... Uh, well, actually, I think it's more of a thing on Maxis's part than EA's. EA's just actually decided to listen to a little bit of common sense on the part of Maxis. But... <clears throat> Uh, Maxis and EA are going to give a free game download to uh, anybody who has SimCity. I think it's before March 18th or whatever it is. Whatever it is they're supposed to send out the emails telling you how to claim your game and all this crap. So, you know, they're trying to compensate everybody for the irritation. But, you know, we'd much rather just have the game work right in the first place. But anyway, so yeah, that that is, of course is a gripe, but you know, that's expected for me. Yeah, Any time an on a game that they have with uh, online comes out, it's 
you know, expected for it to fail miserably within, you know, for the first week or two. But my gripes are a little more specific. One, I think the game is broken as crap. At least in the way of the um, ta taxes and the money situation. I mean, as you can see right here, like I said, I've actually managed to keep this city afloat. It's, it's fairly big, but it's also not... Um, not going under and that's because I've been really sparing with the things like the police stations and the clinics and stuff like that I've stuck to just you know one of each in the city but on Sniperville uh, I would uh, one second be making like 2,000 simoleons an hour and then literally within a span of a second suddenly drop down to like negative 2,000 and, you know, I know a lot of players out there probably be like, well, you know, it's probably mismanagement and stuff like that. Well, there's no way to mismanage that terribly. I, I sincerely think that there is uh, something very broken about the um, economy, uh, the programming of the economy in this uh, game because it seems like you know, like I said, you go from making tons of money one second to losing tons of money the next, and it's extremely annoying. Uh, and Phoenix Jape himself, oh, hey, I have an abandoned building. Phoenix Jape himself has, uh, has heard me complain over and over again, and he's even had that same issue himself, because um, I've heard him complain about it. It's just, it's really, really annoying when it happens. Um, another gripe, one that actually Phoenix J pointed out that didn't bother me, but um, I think it did bother him just a little bit. As, you know, I mean, as you can see from, you know, this, this height, you know, or this distance, it, it, you know, the buildings and stuff look fairly detailed and stuff. But he noticed when you scroll in, BAM! Muddy graphics. Everything looks flat. I mean, it really does not look good at all. And it really is quite annoying. And Phoenix, I really hate you for pointing that out to me. As a matter of fact, here's a person right here. We will zoom in on that person. See, as you zoom in on them, look at them. They look like something from an 8-bit video game. I mean, I know if you went detailed on every little bitty person and vehicle and everything, it, it would bog down the game, and I'm sure that's why the game is able to run even on my system, you know, on high detail, is because when you do zoom in, it's not incredibly detailed. But, I mean, that's just a minor gripe. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I also hate the road... Uh, uh, laying tool, I really do. Phoenix has it mastered. He has no problem with it. Me, it drives me freaking insane. Because I will go to draw a straight road and then suddenly <coughs> it'll curve off. You know, it'll go diagonal and I'll accidentally lay a crooked road. I did that so many times in the original Sniperville and it got to the point where I was like, you know what, this is... You know, this is annoying because <laughs> I had so many crooked streets and odd boxes, you know, blocks like this, you know. And, I mean, you see, you can even see that, you know, this one isn't exactly, you know, perfect right angles. Well, I mean, the whole city looks crooked, but that was because the original highway that runs through here, right here. You know, this is the way it was already formed, and I think... Yeah, see, I probably, I could have demolished it and everything, but, you know, I was like, you know what, let's do a unique design of a city. So, yeah, that that's annoying. Let's see, what else did I find annoying? There are so many things I find annoying about this game. I, I have a serious love-hate relationship with this game. I mean, I, I love SimCity. I've, I've been playing SimCity since the first you know, SimCity game, and I've played them all since then. So, I mean, I 
you know, I I'm not a newbie to it, you know, and and every SimCity game I've had a love hate relationship with. Building a city is incredibly addictive for some odd, strange reason. Yet, uh oh, there's a fire. Fire, we're moving out of here. I would hope so. I don't think there's. Yeah, there's no fire truck there. Oh, that building's going bye bye. Um, but yeah, I, it's it's incredibly addictive for some odd reason. But you know, it's kind of kind of whatever. Let's see. Smelts like money, really, really. That's that's so corny. Come on. Holy crap. Buildings are being constructed right in f right before my eyes. Um, yeah, okay. So what am I doing here? Uh, smelting? Plop a smelting factory. Did, and I thought that was an add-on for this. I can't, though. Let's see, there's what I need. But I have to make a certain amount of money off of... Oh, anyway. Um, but yeah, this game and I uh, don't really get along that well, but I still keep coming back to it because I really love playing it, even though it makes me so incredibly angry. I mean... I was about to give up one night completely on Sniperville. I mean, I was having a huge, huge fit, and Phoenix was on that night. <laughs> and yeah, he, um, yeah, he wasn't saying a whole lot, you know, because I was ranting and raving a lot. And then uh, <laughs> people running around on fire. Oh, I'm sorry, but I found that quite humorous. I've never seen that before. That must have been what Phoenix was talking about. <laughs> but anyway, um... Yeah, I, I was ranting and raving, so I finally... It, it, it got so annoying that I actually didn't even care anymore. So I just started screwing around, and I was just laughing about any of the bad stuff that was happening. And he he said he, he even said um, you know what you oh there they go again uh, you know I find it funny though that the firefighters are completely ignoring the people that are burning they continue to hose down the building and let the people run around on fire and die that makes a lot of sense you're gonna lose the building just let it go. Now look at that! Yeah, people are going home into this building right next to the one that's on fire. But, um... Yeah, Phoenix even said, uh, man, you're, you're just... You got so irritated. You don't even... You're laughing like a crazy man right now. And Yeah, I, I was. That's how bad this is. This game is to me. Of course, I'm the same way with Battlefield. I have a serious love-hate relationship with it, too, as do the rest of the guys in TMG. Uh, let's see, what else? Well, okay, I, I basically told you everything that I hate about it, and, I mean, overall, like I said, I love this game. I, I, I hate it and I love it, but, you know, I love it more and I hate it, obviously, or I wouldn't still be playing. Um... But now on to, uh, you know, the whole point of the game, you know, of course, is to build a city. But unlike in the past SimCities, you really, honestly, I mean, you can rely on taxes to keep the city afloat, but it's not recommended. That's what happened in Sniperville and then uh, my follow-up town of Saltburg. And same goes for Phoenix Run and Lugnut. You know, we made the mistake of... Uh, well, not only putting down too much stuff that costs money every hour, but also uh, 
you know, relying strictly on the taxes to keep us afloat. <clears throat> so, uh, I decided to do what the game was, you know, basically advertised for, and that was specialization, because, you know, your city can specialize in something that can help out other cities in the region, and uh, with Sniperville, I ended up switching over to mainly tourism. I mean, there's a, uh, an oil uh, drilling uh, uh, well, or an oil well there. There's also a coal mine. But that's not mainly what I use for money over there. It's the Expo Center, and, well, we're not, again, not going to go with the sports arena. Um, and we're also, and I also... Uh, need more tourists now um and then also with this one i went with uh of course mining which is pretty much obvious so i got two trade depots i got a coal mine and an ore mine but i'm also working i also have a processor factory which is closed right now because i don't have alloy or plastic to make the processors with I, I was making processors that's how I got up to around 400,000 because those things sell for like I think 68,000 right now for uh, every 100 bunch of 100 or something like that so I was making tons of money off of those but buying the alloy and the plastic from the global market was you know taking too much of a chunk out of my profit so I shut it down until I can make my own it requires uh, coal and raw ore to make um, alloy, and plastic requires oil, which I don't have. I can't drill for because there's no oil under the land, supposedly. At least that's what the game tells me. So I uh, will still be buying the plastic from the global market which the global market is an online market uh, connected to all other players on the game and you know they will specialize in uh, making uh, you know things like plastic and alloy and then selling them from their trade depot and their uh, uh, see what was the other one I forgot what uh, see there's trade depot and trade port yeah that was a trade port um, but yeah they're a trade port and you know that then you can buy the stuff from them and use it to do your own specialization but anyway so yeah I decided I was gonna go with processors I was gonna specialize in computers well once I found out how much alloy cost, I was like, man, you know, this isn't really worth it. So then I noticed that I have raw ore and coal, you know, deposits under my city. So I went ahead and started mining too. So right now it's more of a mining town than anything. But once I get the smelter uh, from uh, this place, the smelting division, I can plop down a uh, smelting factory and uh, I use the coal and the ore to create alloy and then I could just buy the plastic from the global market and make a huge 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 profit uh, from the processors and eventually get into developing computers and TVs but um, let's see but yeah so I you know that that's mainly the way to keep a city afloat and to actually make money is to make sure your city specializes in something you know specific and I'm not sure what Phoenix Jape has done with Boomville I don't know if he specialized in anything let's go visit it he needs simoleons I could tell that And I need to hurry up and finish this up because here in just uh, about 30 minutes or so, uh, All Hail Rob Flynn will be wanting to play the new Battlefield DLC in-game. <clears throat> okay. Here's Boomville. And I hope Phoenix doesn't hate me for showing off his city on my video. See, he likes circles. He said, and I agree with him. You know, he said that after uh, all the, you know, you, all the 
all the Sim City games that have been out, you know, he was tired of the square blocks, so he started going with circular roads, which is cool, you know. But see, I don't see any specialization on his part. Oh, he has a gambling house. Okay, so he's going with gambling. It would seem. He's got a lot of industry, but anyway. Yeah, he has a, he has gambling. That's another thing he can specialize as, as specialize in is gambling. Um, but the problem is with gambling, which uh, there were casinos in the past SimCity games, but you know it wasn't for city specialization. It was just to bring in extra money. Um, but yeah, it will it will seriously um, drag in a lot of crime. And so you have to be sure you have police stations to fight that crime. So yeah, that's SimCity. There, I mean, you know, it's SimCity. It's self-explanatory. You create a, a city. It's basically a simulation of creating city or running a city. So, I mean, really, there's not a whole lot left to talk about. And you've heard me ramble on long enough about crap. So. And I really didn't gripe a whole lot, to be honest. I mean, I just mostly talked about, you know, the gripes I've had in the past. But since I wasn't really playing, I mean, yes, I, I went and, you know, created a few extra blocks and stuff. But I really didn't play... A whole lot so um, but my, my tip to you honestly as you know a veteran sim city player and I'm sure Phoenix Jape would agree with this you seriously if you play this one need to find uh, a specialization for your city as soon as possible I mean don't rush into it I mean you seriously don't want to rush into um, creating a specialization because usually creating a specialization will yes I'll become a master trader um, but you know creating a specialization can run into a lot of money but uh, you know in the end it will pay off so at first you should just you know do like Phoenix and I did on our you know newest cities here. Take it slow, build small blocks, make sure that your uh, buildings can't go over you know um, medium density, and just let the population move in slowly. And then as slowly as time goes along, you have to be patient. So as time goes along, add you know like a, you know a clinic or a police station and a fire station where's my fire station oh there it is fire station you know and just and also add some parks in here and there because that uh, undesirables about because that uh, increases the land value and everything but take it really slow don't you know don't rush it because that could easily push your city under like I said I as you can see I have done really good with my budget and everything I've got plenty of money to work with right now so uh, but eventually yes as soon as you possibly can get into a specialization and stick with it I mean even if you just plop down you know an ore mine or a coal mine or a an oil well or something like that you know just selling the, those raw materials on the global market can net you a lot of money I mean honestly the oil and the coal over in uh, Sniperville it, like I said is what has basically kept kept it going uh, along with the expo and uh, events and everything all right, well, that's about all I've got. I'm sorry this was so boring. Uh, it's not your typical action-packed, uh, well, okay, I guess not really action-packed, but, you know, your typical why am I playing this episode where, you know, I'm playing an action game or something that can somewhat keep your interest. But this was, like I said, this was 
request from Phoenix Jabe because he wanted to hear me gripe. Well, I probably let him down because I didn't gripe a whole lot, but, you know, it's whatever. All right, well, thanks for joining me, everybody.